Oh, welcome to the program. I'm Jane Mutoni. Christians in Kigali City celebrating Christmas Day on Saturday noted that it is a reminder of the sacrifice Jesus Christ made for mankind and the reason why people should also show love towards one another. Tea farmers in Kinira sector in Rindo district say expanding their farming activities has helped them to not only increase the quantity of their tea but its quality as well because they have been refining their methods. Merry Christmas to you all and these are the news in details. Christians in Kigali City celebrating Christmas Day on Saturday noted that it is a reminder of the, of the sacrifice Jesus Christ made for mankind and the reason why people should also show love towards one another. Now church leaders have also been reminding their followers to continue respecting the COVID-19 preventive measures in place. On Saturday morning, many Christians tried to go to church, saying Christmas is a special day that holds great significance to them. Today is a day of happiness for all Christians, everybody who puts their faith in Jesus. This is a day to reflect on the love Jesus had for us, to the point of leaving behind the glory he had in heaven to come to earth. Today we reflect on that as Christians and rejoice. This is the reason to be a Christian. As a young person, a Christian should strive to emulate Christ. With the exception of children under the age of 12, everybody else going to church had to provide proof that they are vaccinated against COVID-19 and all other preventive measures were being respected as well. This is an important day for us Christians, one in line with our faith, a reminder of our salvation, a day meant to remind us of how God came to dwell among us. Today is a day to sing and praise God and declare the good things He has done for us. However, let us once again urge people to get vaccinated. There are some people who go around preaching lies. But the fact is that Christ came so that we can have life and have it abundantly. That includes staying healthy and protecting ourselves from illnesses, so you cannot exclude vaccines. We should not fight science and instead respect it. The church in Rome began formally celebrating Christmas on December 25th in the year 336 AD, and today it is marked by more than 2 billion people in 160 countries around the world. As people across the country are celebrating Christmas with their families, they say they are doing so while avoiding gatherings of any sort in order to prevent themselves from getting infected with coronavirus. Take a look. Families across the country are celebrating Christmas with various foods and drinks and children receiving gifts from their parents. People that celebrated Christmas with their families say they avoided any sort of gathering, be it inviting friends or attending parties, so as to avoid getting infected with COVID-19. We are happy as a family. We are celebrating Christmas while keeping in mind that COVID-19 is real, hence abiding by the preventive guidelines. On one hand, this is different for the most vulnerable and others that are still being hospitalized. Some people thought of them on this day and visited them bearing gifts and sanitary products. The recipients of the Christmas gifts say they are grateful to them because it gave them hope of life. We are thankful to the people that came to visit us. We are truly happy. They gave us fruits and different kinds of dishes. This shows that there are still kind people out there. It helped us regain hope of life. They gave me food and a gift for my child. I feel so happy. The leader of the Good Samaritan organization, Wungurub Genji John, says they thought of this event as a way to comfort them and restore their hope of life. Being human means thinking of those that are vulnerable in the society and reach out to them. We didn't achieve this on our own. Different people contributed as we have volunteers that move around different places collecting contributions from people. And I will take this time to thank each and everyone that reached out through our volunteers. 
The Christmas and New Year celebrations are taking place as COVID-19 cases are rising again and everyone is required to take precautionary measures. Economic experts advise people to spend wisely as they celebrate the festive season due to the fact that the country is still battling with the COVID-19 pandemic, leaving chances of financial problems after the festive season being high. Innocent Mugabo reports. On Christmas morning at Nyabugogo Abatwa, work is in high gear. The same goes to the butchers. Customers are many. Some customers stress that they are wisely celebrating Christmas, not forgetting to save as a lesson learned from the COVID-19 pandemic. The prices are as usual. We are going to buy, cook and remain into our homes. I thank God for protecting me and my family throughout this year. I thank God for healing me from malaria. I save because I also have a child that goes to school. Some of the traders we found in different parts of Kigali city note that they have continued their work as usual, even though the number of customers has not been as high as in the previous years, but they are making good use of what they have got for a better future. We did not hike the prices. The prices are as usual. If you make a profit of 2,000 Rwandan francs, you try to serve at least 500 Rwandan francs per day for your child to be able to go to school without any difficulties. The fact that this festive season comes during the COVID-19 pandemic and have a significant economic impact, economic experts are taking the initiative in advising people to avoid overspending as a lesson learned from the COVID-19 pandemic, as explained by Straton Habjadimana. The first thing is that you will still need to pay school fees and buy food. Celebrating with your family is not a bad thing. It only gets worse when you overspend. I am not advising people not to celebrate, but to do it responsibly. Usually, Christmas and New Year's Eve are the most popular days for celebrations, whereby people are entertained in a variety of ways, including exchanging gifts, traveling, concerts, and preparing special meals. But as of present, some of these are not as usual due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Economic experts advise that in preparation for such days, there should be early savings and there is no need of excess enjoyment that drives the family into poverty. Innocent Mugabo. RTV News. Thank you, Innocent, for that report. Now, let us now take a quick look at the possible reasons of Christmas, origins rather, of Christmas as understood by historians. The term Christmas has its root in Christianity, one of the largest religions in the world. For Christians, this is a celebration of the birth of Jesus Christ, who is believed to be the Son of God. The word Christmas is an English term for Mass on Christ's Day. Mass can mean celebration, memorial or messiah. It was around the 3rd century AD that Christmas began to be celebrated as a Christian holiday, possibly thanks to Sextus Julius Africanus, a Christian historian of the time. Astro del However, before then, the midwinter solstice was celebrated in Europe as a pagan festival. In fact, some of the practices and traditions people celebrate on Christmas stem from the pagan traditions practiced at the winter solstice. It is thought that the origin of the date of the 25th of December for Christmas was the Christianizing of the Solis Invicti Nati, or Day of the Birth of the Unconquered Sun. This was a festival during the Roman Empire that celebrated the winter solstice as a symbol of the resurgence of the sun, the casting away of winter and the heralding of the rebirth of spring and summer. Yule is from the old Germanic word for the feast of the winter solstice and today Navidad in Spanish, Natale in Italian and Noel in French all refer to the nativity. Some believe that the choice to have Christmas at the same time as the pagan celebrations as part of the effort to encourage people to convert to Christianity. Others however believe that the date coincides with the 25th of March being the spring equinox and a time of creation. Therefore, Christ would have been conceived at that date and the 25th of December is nine months later. Nevertheless, Christmas is a time of year when people get together and celebrate. Whether religious or not, Christmas encourages people to get together with family and friends. It is therefore both a secular and religious holiday. 
In the 1900s, the biggest change to Christmas was the commercialization of the holiday, with companies finding ways to market the holiday more towards children and buying toys as parents. Christmas is celebrated the most in Canada, Norway and Iceland, and the least in Afghanistan, Algeria and North Korea. Now, tea farmers in Kinihira sector of Rindo district say expanding their farming activities has helped them to not only increase the quantity of their tea, but its quality as well because they have been refining their methods. Up to 70% of the population in Kinihira is now engaged in the sector. The first tea plantations sprung up in Kinihira sector in 1973. And just four years later, the now 62-year-old Fidel Inyamibga, with the help of his parents, ventured into the business, planting his first tree plants on 20 acres of land. Today I own close to three hectares of tea plantations. When everything goes well and the rains come on time, finding the fertilizers already in the ground, I get more than half a million on them francs per month in revenue. I built my house thanks to this tea and I have two children who completed their university studies, and others still in school. This tea helps me to pay for their fees. Fidel is part of the tea cooperative, Asopete, and it has 4,500 members. I have built a nice house with its own compound, and I even have my own business now at the trading center. I have also bought plots of land with forests in them and use some of the land for growing other crops, and I have my own motorcycle. Asopete grows tea on 1,100 hectares of land down in the valleys and along the hillsides in Chohoha and Rucheri. Tea grown on the hillsides is both sweet and bountiful. It is not as dry as the tea down in the valleys. In the past, the cooperative had suffered from the effects of mismanagement, but its new management has turned things around in the last four years. When I started working here, the cooperative had a budget of around 1.5 billion on them francs to use annually. Now we are up to 4 billion. We expect that we will hit 6 billion in the next two years. Because most of our tea plants go back to between 1973 and 1974, we have begun replacing them with new ones which yield much higher returns. The cooperative Asopete was founded in 2001 and has farmers in 11 sectors of the districts of Rurindo, Jichumbi and Burera. It has eight trucks that deliver the more than 11,000 tons of tea leaves it produces every year to processing plants. That's all for today. On behalf of the entire news production team, thank you for your company. I'm Jane Mutoni. Have yourself a very Merry Christmas.